Good morning and thanks for joining us on the Friday edition of uh, TVC Breakfast. I'm Veronica Dan Igboye. I'm not here alone. I have Super Sam Omashe here as well as Mike Okwache. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. It's uh, less than 24 hours to the governorship and state house of assembly election. Mm. But uh, matters, generic team reactions uh, leading up to that is still the matter of the cash crunch. Uh, Nigerians, a majority of Nigerians have gone to the bank after the CBN governor had said that uh, 1,000 naira and the 500 naira are now illegal tender, but when they get to the banks, they are not finding this money as some of the commercial banks are saying that they do not even have it as it stands. And so the state governors who had instituted a suit are still saying that we are still going to head to the court with regards to this matter, Sam. The interesting thing is that uh, we have not heard from the central bank governor. Let him give account of what has happened since the uh, announcement of this policy. How much was he given to do this job? Mm. How much Naira new notes has he, uh, what do you call it, has he printed? Who did he give it to? How much did he give How to How much did he give bank? each bank? Mm. The old notes, what happened to them? Mm. Did he burn them? If he burned them, how much mm. did he burn? Right. There's no accountability. Why is it that everybody wants... You say that you have unleashed the old notes. And yes, the money is still in leash mm. because we cannot see <laughs> any money. <laughs> we cannot see it. So what happened to all the money? Hmm. Why are we not having it? Keeping mom does not make him wise. Picking mom makes him look very stubborn, hmm. look contemptuous of the people. So he has to say something. They have to communicate with us. We said we wanted a solution. Now the solution has become the problem. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, Mike, uh, the solution is seeming like the problem. Mike, well, the, the point there is we haven't seen, still seen any solution. any solution to what's going on as it is. Recall when we when on the day that uh, we, we got that, you know, publication from CBN, yeah. I, I mentioned here that it is one thing to say that 1,000 and the old 500 naira notes are legal tender. Mm. It, is another thing. it is another thing yeah. to inject the ones that were mopped up from the system. It's another thing to inject it back into the system. So the point there is that because the, the CBN has taken the stance based on the circumstance, the ego is not letting them come out to say, okay, Nigerians, we apologize for, the, for, for everything we had made people to go through this whole... We had good intention. We wanted this thing to work out this way. But since the Supreme Court has come up with this... Of course, let us do this. So going forward, on Monday, we'll be injecting whatever amount of money with, of the old notes into the system. Mm. That is what Nigerians expect right now. Mm. But they have decided to hold back. Okay. Since that is what you people want. You people, that's what you want. It's all right. Go ahead. Your, your one, the 1,000 naira you have, the old one that you have, the 500 naira that you have, it can become legal, legal tender now. Mm. So... It is what people had before that they are trading with. Of course, yeah, we understand that the banks have started issuing, you know, uh, the old 500 naira notes. The ones that have. The ones, the ones that have and the ones they had before. Mm. But that is, that is grossly inadequate. Mm. That is why we said Nigerians still feel that the central bank underestimated the demand, the volume of the demand of uh, the currency in circulation. Mm. Because the point there is, this demand we're putting on the Naira right now has created a black market. Mm -hmm. So now you want to withdraw monies, you have to go and buy. You're buying your own currency to use your own currency in your own country. It, this, these are, these are, this, it's not rocket science to redesign currencies anywhere in the world. There is a template to do these things. Mm -hmm. So the point there is that when you box that kind of a policy and bring it within a short time frame and what... No, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be. Mm. And, and moreover, when you're redesigning currencies, all the reasons for redesigning currencies should be all-encompassing. There are political reasons, 
There are economic reasons. There are social reasons. And in fact, Nigerians are still complaining that this new design doesn't have self-esteem. <laughs> yeah, because they don't, you know, the currency doesn't have swag. Is, this is Nigeria we are talking about. Yeah. Well, I don't know how they did. So we expect, Nigerians expect that by now, the CBN should have been printing. Because Much the most more. important thing is having the currency available. Yes. So this window, the CBN should have been using it to print more of the new Naira notes. Mm. So that at least the, the, to replace the, the old Naira notes that uh, they have uh, uh, withdrawn or mopped up from the system. So that at least there should be some availability. Mm. You know, so that, those are the things. But uh, Nigerians are not happy with the way it's going. Perhaps there's still also challenging. the aspect of the fact that because some persons, for instance, market women, who usually go to the banks to deposit money that the bank used to inject back into the system, are saying they don't trust the system and so they are withholding their monies and not taking it back into the system such that people, someone else, can access it. Everything about the economy is confidence. Everything about finance is confidence. The problem in the U.S. today with SVP and even Credit Suisse Bank is about confidence. Mm. When there's no confidence, everybody withdraws their money. Saudi Arabia withdrew its money from Credit Suisse. People are trying to run on the SVP. They do a run on the SVP. It's confidence. Mm. When there's no confidence in the system, it's, it, it, there's nothing. Everybody will, will hold their money. Mm. Say, this is my own. You take your own. Eh? Then the thing now is that we say we have a legal tender. How do you have a legal tender when the money has not been tendered? Hi, Sam. It's true. After this event, <laughs> is your library we are going to? After this program today? <laughs> it has to be tendered. Yes, yes. <laughs> It's a, it's a problem. It's, uh, unfortunately. So it's, it's, it's beyond whether uh, we want to fire a mefele or whether the man is in contempt. The point is, where is the money? Where is the money? As the movie said, follow the, the money. money. Mm. They say you have to see the money first before, before you can yeah, follow, before it. follow it. Exactly. Um, now mm. people cannot find it. But do you think that uh, perhaps this will have some sort of effect on tomorrow's election? Uh, no, no. The, the, the point there is, of course... There was that anxiety and uncertainty how the currency thing would impact on uh, the presidential election. Now, of course, it had some level of impact here and there. Uh, some people analyzed that uh, the cash crunch that was supposed to prevent vote buying made, made vote buying cheaper. Mm. Now, those who would have collected monies for votes, 20,000, and nobody saw any monies anywhere, they were, they were ready to take 5,000 or ready to take 2,000, whatever the thing or is. Or 200. Or even two. <laughs> <laughs> Don't so give it, me. So, yeah. <laughs> so it made uh, vote buying uh, very cheap. But however, there was the other side of it as to who was buying votes and how do you determine. Or, let's keep that one aside. The, the, the election tomorrow, the point there is, since the presidential election came, and went the way he went, and he was successful, he won't be much of a determinant factor in this uh, election, in this uh, election right now. Because the people have their sentiments, the people have their emotions, the people have their arguments at the local level. Mm -hmm. So the issue there is, they will be seeing the person they want, the person they know, and all of that. So it won't be too much of, uh, uh, it won't have too much impact on the elections tomorrow. Well, there was also a story which is the only time the federal gov uh, the CBN governor, governor has made any statement. Okay. When a report came out in the national newspaper about, this, about the CBN governor releasing money to a certain candidate mm. and so on and so forth. Mm. That's the only time we heard him say, <laughs> no, 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 I'm I still here. <laughs> I'm still here. It's not me who said the, the red, red or blue card. <laughs> it's not me. It's not me. So, so, so some people are saying that well, there are probably some tentatious reasons for this and that, and that, and that the scarcity is still artificial mm -hmm. because they want it, they want to make money available to certain candidates in order 
in order for them to, to have, to have an advantage, advantage mm. over others. So we, all, all, this, all these things are still there in the Conspiracy in the theories, open. as mm. some would say, but uh, let's just hope well, for the conspiracies, best. Well, conspiracies, whether it's conspiracy <laughs> theory or not, even a conspiracy theory is a conspiracy. <laughs> 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 okay, let's begin the news updates now. <laughs>